Those are my baby brother's best friends. Some members of the Hot Springs community are grieving who they say is a life that cannot be replaced. Talisa Hampton joining us now in the studio. And Talisa, any updates about the shooting and what are people in the community saying about the teens involved? Well, Bob and Laura, I spoke with the Hot Springs Police Department. They told me as of right now, there are no new updates. They haven't released the name of the teenager who died, but loved ones in the Hot Springs School District have told me the victim is a high school sophomore, Aiden Davis, who they say will be missed. Long live Aiden. Long live Aiden. Anna Mae Scott says 16-year-old Aiden Davis was her friend for years. Yeah, that was like my brother. That was like my baby brother, best friend. But on Wednesday night, Scott says Davis was shot and later died. We was pulling down the street, and when we was pulling and we heard the shots and we pulled down the street, the police came flying behind us, and so we had to pull over. Police say they responded around 6 p.m. Wednesday to a shooting on School Street. It's pretty devastating. Uh, you know, a child passing away. The death was a shock to neighbors on the block like Gunnar Cowpit. I thought it was fire, like literally thought it was fireworks. Scott remembers her last words to Davis. I love you, bro. I love you. He was looking us in our, in our eyes. He couldn't breathe. Scott says Davis went to Hot Springs High School. The school district said this morning students, staff, and his loved ones gathered at the football field for a moment to, quote, reflect, mourn, and celebrate Aiden's life together. He had the best smile, and he's funny. He's funny. His laugh, something she wishes she could hear again. And his little laugh. <laughs> he don't even be really laughing. <laughs> Members of the Hot Springs community are mourning the loss of one of their own following a shooting Wednesday night that left a teenager dead and two other teens injured. Thanks for joining us. I'm Laura Monteverdi. Hello, good evening. I'm Bob Clausen. It's good to have you along. Talisa Hampton joining us in the studio with more on this, more on what police are saying about the shooting and the community, and also how they're giving some insight to the teens involved. Talisa. Well, Bob, Laura, just recently the Hot Springs Police Department put out two warrants that are for murder in the first degree for two young men who they believe to be involved in this case. They haven't released the name of the teenager who died, but loved ones in the Hot Springs School District told me that the victim is high school sophomore Aiden Davis. This morning, the school and his loved ones gathered at the football field for a moment to, quote, reflect, mourn, and celebrate Aiden's life together. Police say they responded around 6 p.m. Wednesday to the shooting on School Street where they found a 16 year old male who had been shot. We went to that block today and spoke to Anna Mae Scott who says that she knew Davis and he was like family to her. Scott says she was there after he was shot and later died. She wishes she could hear his laugh again. He had the best smile and he's funny and his little laugh. <laughs> he don't even be really laughing. <laughs> Well, as for the other two teens who were also shot, police said one was a 17-year-old girl whose injury is life-threatening, and the other was an 18-year-old man whose injury was non-life-threatening. Again, police said those two warrants are for murder in the first degree, and they're for Cameron Young and Marcus Conrad. We'll have more on KRK.com. This investigation is ongoing. Anyone with any information is asked to contact the police. Reporting in the studio, I'm Talisa Hampton. Back to you.